Uh, 2018, uh, it's the 2018 National Building Code. They're allowing single headers now. Um, opening, exterior, and bearing, wall, bearing walls can be a single, he single header now. Allowing for uh, uh, more thickness uh, um, of cavity insulation right here. So an update, uh, section 2308, you're now allowed single headers, not no longer requiring double headers. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, also, I'm going to hit on nails in this one. Nail head. So let's go with fasteners. Um, 131 is your typical, one of your typical fastener diameters. Um, bear with me for a second. There's your schedule. I'll give you the link to this. 131 is your typical um, uh, shank diameter. And I'm going to compare, I'm going to show you a, uh, the two different guns here by, um, by um, uh, Milwaukee. And why I recommend the, the, one I, or the one I now have. I don't, well, I'm not recommending you buy Milwaukee, but I'm recommending the 20 degree gun, if you will, over the, and I say if you will because it's got a range, um, over the uh, 30 degree gun. And this, this is, this is, this, I'll give you the link here. So any uh, contractors or engineers out there want to uh, get, get, see the new IB, uh, International Building Code 2018. Um, here is hiding out over here. I'll get it for you. For the regular person, uh, the layman is smooth, ring, screw, and barbed, different type of uh, shanks. Here are your heads, your D-nail, your D-shaped head. It allows you to uh, collate them together like this. Um, notched head, they'll do notched, they'll do that style, they'll do this offset, and the full round. Well, the head matters too, the, the uh, size of the head matters also. Um, diamond paint, that's going to split the wood differently as it enters. Um, let me get you that 131 real quickly, a glance, a glance at that 131. I can't find one, I had it under a different shirt, okay, here it is, here I think it was. A fashion uplift, and so the diameter be 131, 0.131 inch, hundred uh, thousandths of an inch, or and the head would be 0 0.28, one thousandths of an inch. If I use the, uh, I'm looking at a box now from um, Home Depot, a uh, box of uh, grip, grip products. Now they consider this head, they say this is a three inch, 131. Uh, strip round head smooth. It says 131. When I when I micrometer the diameter of it though, I don't I come up with a head of being uh, not 281, but I come up with a head of two four thousandths of an inch shy, four thousandths of an inch shy. So that 281, take four off of there. That's how the head is shy on it. And on the shank where it says it's a 131. I come up with uh, just shy of uh, of um, uh, one point five uh, well hmm, one point five thousandths of an inch. So I have twenty nine uh, twenty five and four twenty nine five. So I've got one twenty nine five. So I'm uh, one point five thousandths of an inch shy of the 131 requirement. Now, is it that critical? I mean, the label, the nail's labeled, everyone's going to see it. But, you know, that, that's something else. That's, that's uh, you know, scam. But hey, let's go to, uh, they should label it with the correct size. Let's go to, uh, yeah, that didn't work out. Let's go to, um, well, as the 20s, when it, where should be one more over? Great. I'll get rid of that one. Hopefully it's this one. No, this is a Vantec um, flooring uh, product I was looking at for sheer wall stuff. Um, okay, so we're here. This this is a fuel. This is the M18 fuel 30 degree framing gun. The max it will do is a 131. That's the max. As a max it will do, 
It uh, don't worry about the weight and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter. It, max it will do is 131. You can buy a 148 right here for uh, Dewalt, for example, and it's a 21 degree. The um, good. My cat's not using the box. I got the box here. It's a 21 degree. The uh, M18. The, the uh, it says 21 degree full head nail is what you should be looking for for the uh, M18. That I'll show it to you. Um, so we would go to where's that damn tab hide now that hmm. back to there. So this is a 30 degree nail gun, and then we go back one tab. And we look at the 21. See, that's 30. And here's the 21 degree. So there's the 2744-20. We hit this guy, and the specs are... Let's see if it pulled it up. Okay. So we scroll down to the bottom. And now you'll see that this head, this uh, shank, will go out to a 148. The 113 to a 148. So this is your better deal, the 21 degree gun, and not the other gun, if you're going to be, uh, you know, future setting yourself up for the future, um, future proof proofing yourself to 21 degree. I've seen a lot of guys show their 30 degree gun. These uh, these uh, builders on YouTube, uh, contractors, etc., bragging about their 30 degree guns there, but they're they're not technical in the uh, and the uh, shank that matters, it matters. So this could take the Dewalt shank nail, 21 degree, right? It says 21, 21 degrees right there. And then you can go, and you got yourself a 148 and say they size it back a little bit. You're still good to go. You're still going to be within the uh, the true fashion of code of 2018 IB, um, IBC. All right, just loading this video up for you. I'll give you the link for this, you guys, and uh, take care. Bye.